Hey, this is my book report on The Call of the Wild by Jack London, a great American novel. I read this fucking book. It's 60 pages long. It's still a book I read. It still counts as a book. It's about a dog. It's mostly about dog abuse, really. It's about this fucking dog who's like a regular house dog. His name is Buck. He's cute as shit. And he's like badass. Everyone loves him. And one day the gardener takes him and sells him for a little, <laughs> a little extra moolah I wasn't making. Maybe you should have paid that gardener a fair wage. You wouldn't have fucking took your awesome dog. And these motherfuckers take him. And uh, he very quickly learns the law of the club and the fang. Which basically he learns that if you don't fucking act cool, they're going to hit you over the head with a goddamn club. And if you don't fucking act like a badass amongst your fellow dogs and shit, you know, they're going to fuck you up. So, the whole book is about Buck, like, feeling his, like, inner nature, his, you know, the call to the primordial world, and, uh, he becomes, like, more fucking wolf-like as he gets hardened on the sleds and shit, and he gets sold from owner to owner, and you can feel in his bone, he, he gets, like, he gets starved, and then he gets stronger, and then he, like, doesn't feel pain anymore, and he can feel it, and then he feels this, like, fucking longing for the woods, you know, he, he hears this call. Duh, that's the fucking name of the book. And, uh, old bucko, he gets sold to some assholes who, like, really don't know how to fucking take care of dogs, and they end up having to, like, kill a lot of the dogs because they can't feed them and shit. Anyways, he survives this shit, and I, I laughed out loud. Like, I laughed out loud reading this whenever <laughs> they sold him, and these asshole former owners, they went off across the ice, and they just abruptly go in there and die. <laughs> you don't get to laugh that much reading a novel, right? Good shit. And uh, finally, old bucko, he gets like a badass owner who, uh, who who places a bet for him to haul like like a thousand pounds worth of shit a hundred yards for a bunch of money. And he does, and everyone loves him, and he's like the greatest fucking dog of all time, and he's badass. And then finally, he's on the fucking... He's about in the woods, he's with his badass owner, but he keeps getting this call the wild, right? So he goes into the woods, man. He goes with this other fucking wolf and he's like howling and shit. And he's like, this is my shit. This is what, this is what I was meant to be my whole fucking life. And then uh, he goes back to camp to his cool owner. And his owner has been fucking murdered by Native Americans, Indians, what they call them in this one, you know? Native Ca Canadians, I don't, Native, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. They fucking shot him up with some arrows. Uh, and then he goes ape shit, and he kills him. And it's like, dude, this is like in the last three fucking pages of the book. Like, he's just killing people. And he's like, wow, I've never killed a human before. This is crazy, and he likes it. And uh, that's pretty much how the book ends, with him killing them and being going off and being a wild animal and being like, fuck humans. I'm the shit, always been the shit, fuck you guys. So, Call of the Wild, it's a must read.